Good morning, YouTube. Starting the day kind of late, but hope everyone is having a awesome Friday. Um, hope everyone had an awesome week. Good luck to everyone, because today is Friday the 13th, so uh, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Um, right now, I'm actually headed to a shop to get an oil change, because RX needs an oil change. And it is actually really hot right now. 93 degrees at 10.50 in the morning, um, but the car's already been sitting out for a while, so anyways, should be cooling down by quite a bit, alright, now, a lot of you are probably wondering what I do, because I'm pushing videos out every single day, not saying that school or work uh, won't allow me to do so I, I can just it wouldn't be very long and it wouldn't be as entertaining but right now I am still waiting for school to start and I'm actually still looking for a job so for those of you who are wondering there you go that's why I'm able to come out every single day um, because I spent a good amount of time going on making videos and then when I get back home, edit videos and then look for jobs the rest of the day and that happened again. You know what, for now, I think I'm just gonna hold my camera. I don't know what the reason is. The suction cup keeps on falling from the windshield and that's exactly what happened and why I, why there's a gap that happened just now. So, I guess for now, I will be holding the, the suction cup or the, yeah, the suction cup mount. It might be because the windshield is too hot, so the suction cup can't exactly stick onto it very well. But, with that being said, there probably won't be much to film on the way there. So, I will see you guys at the shop we just got to the shop but i think he's really in a rush because um yeah my car is being towed in or not towed in driven in at the moment the guy was literally waiting for me in one of these stalls and um yeah he just wanted to, to hop in the car <laughs> and as, as soon as i got there so um wow my bad didn't mean to hold the lens so close to my face now you guys can see how handsome I am. Not JK, I'm not handsome at all. Anyways, so I'm actually heading across the street to a coffee shop called Figma Coffee. Um, really good drinks, uh, really good, uh, I, I guess, breakfast toast, if you will. But um, anyways, so about this shop, I've been, I've literally been coming here for the past decade. They are a friend of my relatives. Um, really cool people, um, really nice guys, great shop. Um, so if you guys are ever in the area and need a shop to go to for oil changes and whatnot, this is the shop to go to. If you're in Cupertino, there's also another shop that I also frequent a lot. Uh, it's for my own car actually. Not choosing one shop over the other, but they're called Cupertino Auto Tech and uh, the master mechanic there is also really nice um, really nice a friend of mine recommended it, me to him because he always brings his cars over there so now we are at this crosswalk they actually recently installed this not recently but they installed it a long time ago I think it's because this is El Camino Real oh that's a nice Mustang this is one of the busiest roads in the Bay Area it connects basically all the way from here, or I think maybe South San, uh, South San Jose, all the way up to San Francisco. So I'm gonna make sure I actually press it. There we go. So yeah, this um, this road basically reaches or it cuts through the entire Bay Area. So um, 
for them to have installed an actual crosswalk here with a traffic light is pretty smart. Um, I genuinely appreciate it and we're about to actually walk across. I think, yep, there we go. So yeah, it's like, see the red lights up there and then see the, the human pedestrian walk sign. And I think this is actually one of the longest, um, one of the time lengths in the Bay Area with 30 seconds. But I'm actually going to, go to my left? Yep. I'm trying to make sure there's But yeah, so we are. That's a really nice STI. It's clean too. Anyways, I will see you guys in the coffee shop. All right, here's the menu from what's left. So. I might get the spicy ginger macchiato. I don't know how spicy it's gonna be, but I'm gonna ask them. If it's not too spicy, then I'll get it. If it is, I'm actually not too sure what else or what other item or drink I'm gonna get. Hi. Yeah, I have a question. How spicy is your spicy ginger macchiato? Not, not, it's not aggressively spicy. It's not aggressive. Christian, how, how, would, how would you rate the spiciness of our spicy? Uh, I'd say it's a lot more sweet than spicy. Almost. Okay. Would <laughs> <laughs> you like to try the spicy uh, macchiato? I'll just, yeah. I'll, I'll take the, yeah. For here to go. To go, uh, here please? Sorry. No problem. You're good. And is whole milk okay with you? Warm, sure. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so spicy ginger macchiato for here, would that be all? Yeah, that's it, for now. Five eighteen is your total. Uh, there you go. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I found a spot, but there's a bit of a wet patch, so got me some napkins to wipe it off. Alright, let's get ourselves situated. I'm not trying to be too loud. So, I'm really glad I have my lavalier microphone or that I got one. Alright, we should be good to go. Cash can. Alright, now time to do some editing. Okay, I was gonna start editing. I already opened the Premiere Pro, but my drink was uh, finished by the time I launched the application. So, this is what I got. A spicy ginger macchiato. And it looks amazing and also smells amazing. So, now, finally, I'm gonna pop the memory card out and get to editing in Premiere Pro. Alright, I don't know what I'm gonna say this, but I just have to put two sips in it. It's more of a taste than the actual spice itself. It's not spicy at all. I don't even know. I don't even taste the ginger as well. I don't know why they end up spicy and not the other, but regardless, it tastes really good. Got to word that my car is done, so we're heading over right now. Was in the middle of editing still, so, um, but anyways, I thought, you know what, I don't really, I mean, no matter where I put the microphone, this microphone cost me $20, so it's not one of those, like, you know, fancy, expensive, like, 50 to 70 bucks, maybe even 100 bucks. Um, I'm filming this based on a budget. Um, again, I'm just taking my camera out wherever I go and I'm just hoping that the wind noise isn't too bad. Um, I do plan on upgrading in the future, but not anytime soon. Again, I'm, I'm just giving it this a test. But um, yeah, so I'm, I guess I will just keep on playing around with, with the microphone positioning, but I think for now, because of the fact that this clip also isn't very good and very high quality, so it will actually fall from my t-shirt if I don't clip it on the, 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 in the color section. So, where it's at right now is the highest possibility of it actually not falling off. So I'm just, I think I'm just gonna, you know, keep it where it is for now. Anyways, so, heading across again. Oil change itself took a good 
45 minutes to an hour and I guess that is the typical amount of time it takes a shop to do an oil change if, not, if they're not busy but she's also changing up the air filter because the car for some reason wasn't getting 100% of its acceleration rates when the AC was running so that might be a possibility I'm not too sure if it is but I will ask them again just to double check because when they called me and told me that over the phone for some reason there's no reception at all in that coffee shop so um, even when I came out the service was still pretty poor quality so I couldn't exactly hear what he was saying um, so I'm just waiting until I get to the shop and see what he has to say. Yeah, this really is the longest. So what is this person doing? Come on, I had the green light here. Anyways, kind of funny how I caught that on camera. There are people over here, some drivers who just don't care about pedestrian crossing and will still just, you know, drive through the crosswalk when someone is walking across. I don't know why, I don't know how oblivious they are, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm alive, didn't get hit, and that's all that matters. Alright, I will see you guys once I get to the shop. That is actually a really clean S2000. It's actually one of the cars that I really want other than the C63 AMG and the WRX STI. I just got the car back and I didn't record or film the interaction because some shops and some Asians don't like being on camera, which I completely respect. Um, my family comes from Asia. I was uh, the first, I guess like I could technically say I, I am the first generation here. Some would say I'm second generation, but I mean, to me, it doesn't make any difference. Um, I, I understand, I can see where they're coming from, so I completely I, I completely respect that fact. But um, yes, yeah, so I just didn't record it. But again, I'm, you know, long time friends with them. Been doing service with them for years. So right now we are, next stop is actually the bank. I. Again, won't attach the or mount the camera onto the windshield because I don't want it to keep dropping. Uh, I would much rather hold the camera because then at least I can focus on driving and not have to worry about the camera randomly falling and then needing to pick it back up on the road. So I'd rather just be holding the camera um, until I can find a better solution or a better fix. But anyways, again, I don't think I will see anything on the way back. Knowing this area, nothing crazy really happened. So with that being said, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna give this angle a shot. I mounted the, well oh, actually that's really dumb because it's in my, it's literally in my blind spot at the, uh, the side mirror. So. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Cause this would be perfect, but I can't I literally cannot see the side mirror, so that is a bust. Change positions again. This time the camera is literally mounted right beside the side uh, right beside the uh, the rear view mirror, so it's a little higher up. Hopefully it's stickier. But for some odd reason off topic, but right now it's around like noon, it's around 12 12 15 ish. There's not supposed to be this much traffic on this road right now, on a Friday. Usually it's much later, maybe like 4 or 5 p.m. So this to me is kind of weird, but I'm going to try this out for a few minutes. I may or may not keep the camera rolling. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, <laughs> don't really know what else to talk about. Alright, so I am still at the bank doing some transactions on one of the machines and I just want to say I didn't want to cuss her out, but 
I may or may not show video footage of her car, but I nearly ran head on into her because she came in extremely hot. Thank you so much. I will show you guys how she entered, but uh, just making sure everything's good with this machine. All right, we're good. So basically, I was coming in from this way, right? There's two sides of the entrances. I was coming in from this way. She's coming in from this way. And what basically happened was, I saw her head just come in from this corner is super hot. You can see that there's really no spaces, well, barely any space for two cars to, you know, go side by side. So I came in through here, she came in through here, and as soon as I saw her, I jammed on the brakes, and she did not give a f I'm gonna cut that out, but she did not give a f And I even saw her face. She had the, I don't care, I will do what I want, and she just seemed like she was in so much of a rush, so I didn't say anything to her. Otherwise, I think I would have pissed her off even more. I would have told her, you should probably slow down, friendly suggestion. You should probably slow down. But, knowing how she was, seeing her facial expression, I don't think she would have cared. So, I may, again, I may plug the footage in. I don't know if I will. Um, I don't know if I want to be a dick about it, but I don't know. I'll see. Anyways, so... I think this might be the end for the vlog. I don't think I will be doing anything else uh, later today. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday the 13th. Again, don't do anything stupid, or if you want, you know, have fun, um, go all out crazy, and um, hope you survive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, hope everyone has an awesome day. Hope everyone has an awesome week. Hope everyone has a start, or has an awesome start to the weekend. And, um, I think we do have more plans tomorrow other than the Tesla test drive. I don't know yet. I'm not too sure, but if I do, I will definitely get it on camera. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a good one, and I will see you guys later.